three, two, one. Good day, good morning, or good evening, whenever you're watching this video. And you know what? I just love that three, two, one. That was on my last video. And anyway, I, I, I'll, I'll stop with that. Maybe I'll put it on the next one. Anyway, this video uh, for today, we're going to compare the Mighty Mouse against the Elite E2X. Uh, the Mighty Mouse, just so you know, it's uh, the latest one. It's got the Super Center 5. Uh, so it is the latest version of each catch can. Uh, the test mule is my Corvette. It's uh, C7. Now, what I did, and, and I'm explaining this, so please do not click out. 0 to 441 kilometers, I did not have a catch can. 441 kilometers to 942, I ran at Apex. The reason that, it's just a design test. And then 942 to 1450, I ran the Elite E2X. There was a bit of a gap there while I was waiting for delivery. And then from 1654 to 2163, I ran the Mighty Mouse. So how does this translate and, and what does it all mean? Well, it means we ran each catch can about 500 kilometers. So the Apex was 500, uh, 501. Uh, the Elite was 508 and the Mighty Mouse was 509. So they're all pretty equivalent. I don't want to take a lot of time in this video. So what I did was uh, before each catch can was run, I took off the blower or not the blower, but the blower lid. And that's how we're going to see which catch can filters best and why I use such a low amount of kilometers or miles. I wanted to see what was in the blower. If I ran it too long, I was afraid there would be too much oil and then it would be hard to tell between the catch cans which one did a better job filtering. So with a little bit of kilometers, I was able to do a good job. Now I'm, this, I'm showing you the cleaning now, but I'm not gonna do the cleaning through the whole video because you know what, it's just gonna make the video too long and you guys are gonna get bored and you're gonna click out. So, but just trust me, that's what I did between each test. So here, I just wanna pan around. This is my car at 441 kilometers or 274 miles. We have no catch can on the car right now. So there was nothing. The car was brand new. And as you can see, it was very clean. Um, obviously, uh, I bought my car brand new, so it's perfect uh, that I was able to do this test on a brand new car. Now let's take a look at the blower lid. On the blower lid, even at this low amount of kilometers, we can see there is stuff. Now there's this black stuff, I don't know exactly what it is, my hypothesis guys, so my best guess is this is coming off the rotors from the supercharger. And you can see there's the black. Uh, th that's where I think this black is because the oil actually isn't this black. The oil is still clean. I mean, it's pretty much a new car, so the oil is clean. So I, I don't wanna take a lot of time on this Apex, but what, the, the reason I'm showing this Apex is just for a design. Uh, I'm gonna throw up the link, so if anyone wants to learn about catch can designs and how to even pick a good one on the market, uh, you know, this is the video you should really watch. I spent a lot of time on this video and it, it's just a really good educational video. Okay, so heading into the blower lid, we can see it looks a little bit different here. You can see there's a little bit of staining there at the top. So we pan in and we got a little bit of staining, but everywhere else it's fairly dry. It did a really good job and there's not a lot. And if you look at the black there, you can see, I believe that's coming off the rotors uh, with the engine still breaking in. Uh, but take note, it looks pretty clean. All right, so now, now we're getting to the fun stuff, everyone. So this is the E2X. So, E2X has been run for 508 kilometers, so that's 315 miles, and this is what we're seeing inside the engine. So I'm very impressed with the E2X. The engine is very clean. As you can see, really, there's not, uh, there's just no oil that I can find. It's very, very clean. Now, if we take a look at the blower lid, we can see it is like pretty much super clean. Uh, there doesn't even look like there's any oil being sort of absorbed into the roughness uh, of the cover there. You can see where I'm pointing. I'm just going to give it a little rub with my finger and pay attention to this because I'm going to do it later. You can see nothing came off. So this is very, uh, I don't want to use the word porous, this part here, but you can see those little dots there, just the way the aluminum is, and oil can easily get trapped in there. So we have a little bit of oil here, but really not too much. I'm, I'm very impressed with the E2X. There was nothing that I could find in the engine and very, very little in the blower lid. So, I mean, that's, that's great to see. Uh, definitely a worthy catch can. Now let's finish things up and just give it a little bit of a wipe here. So I'm just gonna wipe the plate and this steel plate is right above the blower or supercharger rotor. So you can see there is a little bit of oil on, uh, on the cloth there or on my rag but uh, not a heck of a lot, but there is some, and I mean, no catch can is gonna be absolutely perfect. I just don't think one exists, but this one is pretty close and I'm quite impressed with it. Okay, so I'm panning in here to the supercharger and if I remember correctly, there was no oil last time. I mean, I may have to correct myself when I do all my editing. 
And I'm gonna jump in here right now. That was my original voice there when I was actually doing the filming and this is me doing a voice overlay now. And yeah, there was no oil last time uh, that I could find on the engine. And here obviously panning around, looking at the blower, we can see there is oil around uh, the engine. You could see just a little oil puddles around the engine. So definitely finding some oil. And you have to remember uh, this catch can, uh, the Mighty Mouse here was only run for 509 kilometers. So that's only about 316 miles. So anyway, that's that's a little bit concerning. You know what, and I'm gonna go back to my regular voice because the next uh, segment, I actually, uh, it's all ad lib. So here's the bottom of the cover. So let's just take an inspection of it. Uh, this part looks similar. I remember there was some of this uh, before, the spray up. Now this is the rear. This is the rear, so this is where the blower rotors actually are. This is the front of the cover. This is the back of the cover. Uh, we have this glob here. Now what concerns me, if I pan over here, is you can actually see the oil. You can, you can actually see there there is a buildup of oil and I don't believe there was before. So to me, that's a little bit concerning. I have a napkin here and I'm gonna wipe it with my hands at the top and let's just see if anything comes out. Not a lot there. And at the bottom area, there's quite a bit and you can see where uh, my finger marks were. So I'm gonna do that again. So you can see there's definitely a buildup of oil. Um, at the rear of the cover, this is where the rotors are. Um, let's do another one right here. Hang on, hang on. I'm trying to get the flash out of the way so you can see it better, but anyway, I'll just go like this. There you go, you can, uh, you, you saw it there. So there is a layer of oil. The camera is picking that up. All right, so you have seen the test and now let me know what you think. I'm just gonna clean this up now. Now the great part about this test was this blower lid. It's actually kind of like flat paint. If any of you know flat paint, you don't ever wanna to touch flat paint because you get <gasps> fingerprints on it. It just absorbs everything. And the underside of this blower lid is exactly the same. So any oil just cannot hide and it goes on the underside. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna clean it up. And I just wanna let you know, a few people had reached out to me and said, you know, to do a proper test, what I should be doing is actually running two catch cans in series, uh, you know, for like a few thousand kilometers and then switch them and then measure them. And I actually did do that. I will throw up the link for that. So if you wanna check out that, I did it that way. But on my Corvette, that's just not practical. I don't drive it enough. So this test I believe was better because you know what? Uh, it was a brand new car. I bought it brand new. The engine was spotless clean. And this way, if I only run it a few kilometers, not a lot, so basically 500, which is uh, you know just over 300 miles per catch can, it was easy to see uh, which catch can left some oil. Now, if I would have driven it, you know, 20,000 miles each catch can, obviously there would, you know, it might have been harder to tell the difference. But uh, just running it so few kilometers, it was easy to tell which ones, you know. We're, we're leaving oil. So anyway, I don't wanna keep rambling on. That is the end of my test. I'm getting kinda of hungry here, so I'm just gonna go in the house, uh, grab myself a nice snack. Hopefully when I upload this video, I get some decent views, maybe a couple extra you know, subscribers and thumbs up. I would just absolutely love that. So that is it for now, Garage King over and out, and I hope to see you all next week. Thanks everyone.